Hey guys, welcome back to Christian's Playroom. Dad here, and today we have the Lego Creator Pet Shop. It is set number 10218. It has 2,032 pieces and is recommended for ages 16 and up. If you're new to the channel, thank you. We love making these Lego videos for you guys and hope that what you see here on our channel can inspire you to express your creativity. So without further ado, let's build this pet shop. The Pet Shop is a very cool set and has a lot of cool things to offer in terms of design, brick technique, coloring. Uh, I think it's a really cool set and it's sad to see that it is retired. I'm glad we got one before it was retired and we had held on to it for quite a while before I decided that it should be the inaugural set to go into our Lego City. One of the cool things about this design is that each building is built on a 16 by 32 plate so they can be separated and moved around your city at your will. This to me is the ultimate modular Lego set because each floor can come off and you can move each building around so you have creativity at your will. Starting with the apartment townhouse, I really love the idea that it looks like a brownstone in New York. The build on the steps are very interesting and I like the use of the skeleton feet to make the pillars uh, going up the railing on each side. Love the planner in the bottom and the bay windows. I think that's one of the standout design pieces in this entire set. I especially love the building technique on the design above the door. I think that it was very resourceful and from afar it does look like something you would see in a home like that. I love the brick patterning with the brown and then the red brick going up. I love these little flower pieces on the front, it gives it a very cool design. And then another appearance of green here, which I think is nice that breaks up the entire kind of color uniformity of the set. Looking at the set from the side, you can see the Technic pins on the bottom to connect it to the other building and to what other modular sets you have in your LEGO City. Sides are pretty bare, there is no detail because it will be flushed up against another set. The back of the building doesn't have as much detail as the front. They did go ahead and give you some stuff that doesn't make it just a flat building, which I think is very cool. I really enjoy this cellar door. They left the green on the base plate unplated, so they would have a grass look. Um, I might actually put some tiling there to smoothen it out. The garbage can is set there to give it some more detailing. We have the black door and another overhang, which I thought was a nice little build. Here's another planter under one of the windows uh, following the same motif and design that 
the front was going with. As we go up, here is the third floor with the patio. One of the cool things about this cellar door is that there's a ladder on the inside which allows you to get into the building from this secret plate. Now, you can probably see the hinges, but if you weren't looking too closely, you would have to lift this up here. I really do enjoy the detailing that's going on here. The couch build was actually very cool and interesting. I had never done that before and I thought that was really, really well done. Uh, there's a small little coffee table with a cup. Uh, in the bay windows there's a little table with a vase and flowers. A cool little detail that they have next to the front door is a hat hanging on a hat rack. They have the inside portion of the mailbox, which I thought was a nice little design to the outside. By the stairs, there's a little phone build, which I thought was really cool. And then under the stairs is actually a little bathroom. I love the use of the hinge pieces that allow the bay window to exist in the set. There will be no give or any, anything. It will be very secure. Going up on the second floor, I really enjoy the planter box detail on the windows. And as you can see, the bay window continues going up. Coming up the stairs into the second floor, we have an unfinished apartment. As you can see, we have our Lego minifig painting the wall, which I thought that was a very cool building technique, using the roller and the plate against it to make it look like it actually is painting. Down there, we have the paint tray and the paint bucket. And then in here, there isn't really much going on in terms of detail. There is the space for whatever you'd like to put in front of that bay window, and also anything in front of this window. The stairs follow the same build design, except it is entirely spiral, unlike the first floor, which has the bathroom underneath it. One of the cool little build techniques, and almost vital to building stairs like this, is this piece right here. Uh, this black piece that connects into the structure of the walls, as you can see here. Starting with the visible from the outside of the third floor, I wanted to show you a better look at the patio. Here we have a little garden with a couple of different flower builds and a little light next to the patio door. One of the cool little features is this translucent window design using blue and red translucent bricks, which I thought was very nice. Something you'd find in kind of a stained glass look. Taking the roof off, we have this upstairs almost storage area. Could be anything you'd want to turn it into, but right now they have a couple of boxes and you know, nothing else. There's a little railing here. What I like about it is that it allows you to use your imagination and use the two floors to do what you want to do. Make your own designs, make your own mocks. The roof attaches just like the floors attach. And we have a very basic roof, nice little fencing with the brown cone pieces on the top. I like the, the chimney on the side there. I thought that was really nice. The namesake of the set, the Pet Shop, is a very cool build. I like the separation of colors with the tan, whites, and blues. I really like the tile work in front of the Pet Shop storefront and the baskets of food with the fruit and the bones for the pets. I like the use of the white and blue pieces for the awning and I actually think it's really cool to use those great pieces on top of the door as like an air vent or air conditioner or something. The actual pet shop sign build is really cool and it's something that is replicated in some of the other later sets that came after this. The lamp post on the front of the set is very cool but I really like the hanging lamp underneath the archway going up the stairs. I thought that was a very cool design and build technique that if you had a light kit it would be really cool to place one of those there. Both sides of the pet shop are bare just like the other building. It has the Technic pieces on the bottom so that you can connect it to another modular. I think the back of this building definitely has a lot of the character of the front of the building without having to go into the detailing that it does. There's a lot of cool details on the first floor and they gave us a lot of fun things to look at. Uh, we have some birds at the front window, a checkout counter with a cash register. We have some pet food and items on the shelf in the back, along with a yellow frog. In the back corner, we have a small little cat enclosure where 
If you can see, there's a small little hole. With a little bit of storytelling, we have the cat sniffing out the mouse. And if we move the bucket, we have the tail of the mouse going inside of the hole. Here we have the front door and a mailbox build built into the building. And another pet enclosure with a dog and a bone inside. In the back, we have a fish tank with a fish and a back door. These stairs can move so that you can get better access to the dog enclosure. On the second floor of the pet shop, we have a small little apartment. In the corner there, we have a small little kitchen build with a stove, oven, sink, and a coffee maker. Here we have a fireplace, which I think is really awesome, and that it is placed where the chimney is on the roof. Inside we have a little fire piece, uh, but I think that is a very cool, clever building technique to get that design. On the other side, we have a small little chair and table with a mug next to the stairs. And then attached to the stairs is a small little clock. In the back there, we have the doorway from the first floor with a small little hallway that spills out into the apartment. The third floor is built more like a loft to the second floor where the stairs go up to this small little area where the bed is and a lamp. I really like the bed build. I think the tile work really gives us that bed illusion with the white as folded over sheets and the brown and tans as the bedding itself. Here we have the chimney continuing to the roof and then a ledge for the third floor windows where I guess you could put some sort of decoration or something if you'd like. This is the rooftop. Uh, here we have the chimney going out through the roof which connects to the fireplace which I think is a very cool design. Then there's the skylight which will look through into the bedroom. So when you look through that you'll see the bed or if you were the Lego citizen you'd be looking up into the Lego sky from your bedroom. Putting the two buildings back together is as easy as lining up the Technic pins. So here we go. The set comes with four minifigures, each with the classic single-sided printed face, If you liked this video, click the thumbs up, leave us a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. So until next time, come back and watch some more LEGO videos at Christian's Playroom.